we're off to Atlanta Sand Monument. Waiting for our driver to take us and it's sort of a bit overcast, warm but quite lovely. That's good to not have the sun beating down on us. And this morning we are visiting the Bajra Sandi Puputan monument in Dempasa. Lovely gardens around. That is the ticket office just over there. Bajra Sandi Monument is an ornate monument dedicated to the struggles of the Balinese people throughout their history. The monument is located in front of the Bali Governor's Office in Dempasa and is very hard not to miss. Its actual location is at 142 Jalan Raya Kupatan in Dempasa. We are at the Baja Sindhi Monument. It can be tricky to say. It's Bajra Sandy Monument. 100,000 each to get in. Not sure what we're in for, but we'll go and have a look. There's a lot of steps. That's all I can tell you at this point. And I think we can go inside the monument and up. So we'll see what happens. Come with us. Bajra Sandy Monument is a rectangular shape and follows the architectural principles of the Troy Mandala, which obviously is Troy and Mandala meaning area. First one is Utama Mandala, the main building in the centre of the monument. Secondly, Madaya Mandala is the inner courtyard surrounding the Utama Mandala. And thirdly, the Mista Mandala, the outer courtyard surrounding the Madaya Mandala. The monument's design resembles a Balinese Hindu place playing bell or Bajra. There are these four gazebos on each corner. And it's another one down there on the northern side. That is facing to the east. And we go through the south entrance. And it seems to be perfectly symmetrical. This is the east side. So let's head in and have a look. Apparently there is a viewing area on the first level or second level maybe, um, which should give us some good sights of Dempasar and surrounds. Let's go up the steps and into the monument itself. And so the main building, the Utama Mandala, has three floors. The ground floor is called Nistaning Utama Mandala and contains administrative rooms, a library and exhibition halls. In the centre of the ground floor is a lake called Pisa Tasik. An interesting symbolic design element of the Bajra Sandi monument is the representation of the date the Japanese surrendered in World War II. The date was August the 17th, 1945. Around the grounds you'll find 17 main gates, 
around the lake on the ground floor are eight pillars and also the fact the monument stands at 45 metres in height. Like there's lots of steps up there. This might give us a better idea of the layout. Here. Uh, I'll try this one first. Hello. That way? Yeah. Okay, there seems Thank to be you. some sort of order. These are all little 3D models of probably the origins, I'd say. Bali during the hunting and food gathering period, 3000 BC. And then we move along to 2000 BC. Ooh. And now we're starting to build stone buildings. 778 AD, the hermits were practicing meditation in the niches, carp and riverbanks, and the priest is standing in front of an ashram. And in the next window we have the 8th century, the priest RSI Makai Dea. I think we've gone back in time a little bit here, this one's 914 AD. Beach. The first floor Madhyaning Utama Mandala contains 33 dioramas with a focus on the local struggles of the Balinese people. The second floor offers a panoramic view of Denpasar and the surrounds. The dioramas cover various incidents in the history of the Balinese, including the Balinese kingdoms the introduction of Hinduism, the Majapahit era Dutch colonialism and the struggle for independence. And here we have the Battle of Kusamba, 1849 against the colonialists. Still more windows of these right across the other side. So Pupatan is the meaning for the fighting spirit which was shown against the Dutch. They never surrender, they fight to the death. These ones in the centre tend to show more of what happened after colonialisation 
Here we have a very dark one which has a warship. Invasion of the Japanese. And this window shows the Pukatan Plungkung event of 1908. The final battle between the Klungkung Kingdom and the Dutch army. And we visited this place and it was called the Hall of Justice or Kota Kota. So we went into so that we've building. We've actually been there, <laughs> even though this is a model. Um, this shows the final battle of the Balinese against the Indonesian colonials. Those it's bad Dutch. boys there. And around the walls there are these reliefs of various Indonesian, um, what would you call them, deities. Now we're going to head all the way up there. Alright, we made it up the spiral staircase, so let's hope it's worth it. Okay. Have some good views out of the window. Not sure if you can see mountains in the background or is that cloud? I'm not terribly sure about that, but right over there. I'm not sure if that has improved the skyline there. Just change the exposure down a bit so you can see the outline of Mount Ogung. But we'll see once we get the thing onto the laptop we'll find out if that exposure was okay but you can actually see the mountains they're quite huge up and down all the stairs and we went way up to the top of that tower from a spiral staircase and Derek's just making new friends and we're about to get a grab to Ramayana department store where hopefully it will be air-conditioned because it was so hot in there <laughs> 